multi-million dollar aircraft is the first U.S. strategic bomber to be produced in three decades. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It is a testament to America's enduring advantages. On a November morning in 2023, the future of American air power made itself felt on the runway. Silent, sharp-edged, and unmistakably a product of years of progress, the B-21 Raider's first official flight represented far more than a milestone for engineers and Air Force strategists. Its emergence marked a moment shaped by nearly a decade and a half of focused effort, a project dedicated to defining a new era in how the U.S. project's strategic power. Behind the public unveiling stood over 15 years of relentless development, years spent in design labs, at wind tunnels, through classified briefings, and on test ranges. Those years witnessed engineers, scientists, and defense planners racing to meet requirements that reflected not merely technological ambitions, but the real stresses presented by evolving 21st century adversaries. Built by Northrop Grumman as the next major leap after the B-2 Spirit, the B-21 is positioned to usher in what's described as the world's first sixth-generation strategic bomber, one designed to reach deep into contested airspace and return. News of the B-21's second test flight, signaling progress toward operational service, further signaled a major advance not just for the U.S., but for the wider military community. Analysts, defense ministries, and air power strategists have recognized the significance. The B-21 represents a tangible shift in what stealth bombers are expected to achieve in survivability, resilience, and adaptability. Anticipated to enter service as early as 2025, the radar ushers in a period where both U.S. adversaries and allies need to account for a new reality, a bomber more advanced, survivable, and versatile than its predecessors. Behind the headlines and technical specifications, however, lies a central theme. The B-21's significance does not rest solely on increased stealth or advanced avionics. Its most impactful feature resides in an architectural approach, one that transforms what a strategic bomber is expected to do and the roles it is prepared to fulfill. Identifying the element that makes the B-21 truly stand apart clarifies how the U.S. Air Force is preparing to maintain a decisive advantage. A new threat profile, stealth redefined. Stealth technology has long been central to the U.S. strategic bomber force. Since the debut of earlier stealth aircraft, such as the B-2 Spirit, airframe design has prioritized minimizing radar signatures and evading detection through a combination of geometrical shaping and specialized coatings. The B-21 radar, however, does not simply refine the formulas that preceded it. It implements innovations that reimagine the basic expectations for survivability in hostile airspace. The Air Force's requirement for a new bomber arose from the limitations and maintenance challenges of legacy platforms. Over time, the costs and complexity of keeping aging bombers available reinforced the need for a next-generation aircraft built from day one to endure contested environments and rigorous operational schedules. The B-21's design speaks to these priorities. While its payload has been reduced by about 50% compared to the B-2, its wingspan is only about 15% smaller. The resulting aircraft is slimmer, physically harder to detect, and in theory more survivable against advanced defenses. Rather than maximizing bomb load, the Raiders designers have chosen to emphasize an optimized balance between size, payload, and stealth characteristics. The aim is not to deliver raw destructive mass, but to guarantee access, striking targets deep inside defended territory, relying on signatures too faint for adversaries to reliably detect and track. Key to this capability is the next step in stealth, improvements in shaping, radar absorbent materials, and reductions of physical and electromagnetic signatures. The B-21's visible features, reduced surface area, streamlined contours, and carefully measured angles, are the product of iterative engineering to ensure that every exposed area favors survivability. The aircraft systems are shielded and internal wiring arranged to minimize electromagnetic emissions, while intake and exhaust systems are designed to suppress infrared output. Modern adversaries invest in multispectral sensors, integrating radar, infrared, 
and electronic intelligence for overlapping zones of detection. The B-21 responds with a holistic stealth approach, reportedly featuring low probability of intercept communications, refined electronic countermeasures, and airframe-level techniques to evade both conventional and next-generation radar. Each improvement contributes to the bomber's capacity to enter and operate within hostile regions where previously even the B-2 might have faced substantial risk. This cumulative approach to stealth, prioritizing survival above all, suggests that the B-21 is not only more difficult to target, but also able to generate uncertainty and reduce the effectiveness of enemy air defense investments. In an era of layered, rapidly updating defensive networks, that advantage could translate into real operational flexibility and strategic leverage. Strategic adaptability, presence, and endurance. Operational presence is a defining feature of air power. The ability to project strength far from home and maintain readiness in ambiguous peacetime circumstances often shapes diplomatic and military outcomes before any bombs are dropped. Here, the B-21 delivers a second pivotal change, one connected less to its ability to penetrate air defenses and more to its availability and sustainability. The Air Force's current plan to build up to 100 B-21s reflects the need to maintain a credible, persistent bomber force. Some analysts, however, raise concerns about a brittle force. Limited numbers could lead to shallow endurance in a protracted conflict or reduced day-to-day -day presence. Yet the logic of the B-21 program speaks to more than just fleet size. The Raider's design places a premium on maintainability and reliability, addressing a major flaw with the B-2, which was notorious for time-consuming, labor-intensive skin repairs and frequent downtime. From its inception, the B-21 has been built with robust operations in mind. Everything from its materials to its systems layout is engineered to speed up maintenance and reduce susceptibility to environmental wear. This matters not just for daily readiness, but in crisis or wartime situations where rapid turnaround can determine strategic outcomes. Reducing payload has operational benefits beyond logistics and maintenance. It allows for a lighter airframe, which in turn means less strain on support infrastructure and potentially shorter, more responsive maintenance cycles. In prolonged crises where bases might be under threat and resupply is uncertain, being able to stage, recover, refuel, and relaunch quickly enhances resilience. Instead of relying on overwhelming force at a single point in time, the B-21's approach supports a distributed, enduring air campaign. Multiple flexible sorties sustained over time, forcing adversaries to spread out their defenses. With two B-21s already undergoing flight testing and ongoing investments into making the B-2 more available, it is clear that the Air Force seeks a new operational paradigm. Stealth bombers are shifting from niche, rarely used assets toward an operational core that can be counted on for both routine deterrence and rapid wartime escalation. This vision is enabled by advances in maintenance technology, digital diagnostics, and logistics allowing the B-21 fleet to be maintained and deployed according to operational demand, not the constraints imposed by complex or fragile systems. The global support structure envisioned for the Raider incorporates remote diagnostics, pre-positioned spares, and streamlined repair processes, supporting rapid movement between theaters and minimizing time away from the fight. In this domain, the B-21 represents not only an upgrade in stealth, but a major leap in operational resilience. The undisclosed edge, multi-role payload architecture. Historically, bombers have been measured by the volume of their payload, yet contemporary operational environments place a premium on flexibility, the ability to change missions and adapt payloads to evolving threats. It is here that the B-21's hidden advantage emerges, a modular, multi-role internal architecture that allows the aircraft to support nuclear, conventional, and potentially future payloads with minimal reconfiguration. This principle shifts the focus from absolute payload weight to tailored mission sets, supporting a broader spectrum of tasks and offering rapid transitions between strategic deterrence and conventional strike roles. Where legacy bombers may require extensive preparation to shift from nuclear to conventional delivery, 
The B-21 is built to support rapid retasking, likely by design of its payload bays and avionics interfaces. Such modularity enhances operational unpredictability. Adversaries cannot be certain what role each deployed B-21 is fulfilling, making it challenging to allocate defensive assets effectively or anticipate the threat profile. The possibility that a single squadron of B-21s might be arrayed for nuclear deterrence one day and conventional deep strike the next forces adversaries to stretch defenses and sustain uncertainty in strategic calculations. This flexible architecture also opens doors to the integration of new technologies, future munitions, advanced standoff weapons, electronic attack payloads, or other capabilities can be introduced more readily than with past generation designs, which were limited by fixed configurations and less adaptable avionics. The B-21, therefore, is not only future-proofed against emerging requirements, but also able to accommodate missions not yet publicly disclosed. The effect of such modularity is to generate a real multiplier on strategic impact. The B-21's ability to serve diverse missions on short notice reduces the predictability of US bomber operations, transforms the strategic dilemma for adversaries, and supports a flexible US response to crisis scenarios. By being able to threaten an array of targets, command posts, logistics lines, and air defense nodes, the B-21 intensifies the challenge of defending against US air power. Building the sixth generation, technology for a new air war, the designation of the B-21 as a sixth generation aircraft is not just a marketing label. It reflects a synthesis of capabilities, stealth improvements, maintainability, modular payloads, and a digital infrastructure that supports ongoing upgrades and operational flexibility. One of the most important features associated with this generation leap is digital engineering. The B-21 program has prioritized virtual prototyping, data-driven testing, and iteration cycles intended to accelerate readiness for service. This not only hastens development, but enables more rapid fielding of new capabilities via software updates and modular hardware. As a result, the Raider is built for continual adaptation, a necessary trait as adversaries improve air defenses. The airframe's compactness is itself an expression of strategic calculation. By reducing wingspan only modestly while halving payload, the design optimizes for radar signature reduction without sacrificing the geometric advantages of the flying wing. With engines buried in the fuselage and blended into the main structure, and with extensive use of advanced composites and low observable coatings, the B-21 is designed for both stealth and durability, an advance over the B-2, whose specialized coatings have been a bottleneck for operational use. The B-21's avionics and digital architecture reportedly feature open systems that allow for easier upgrades and compatibility with other military platforms. The long-term vision is to integrate the bomber as a critical node in larger, network-centric operations, able to share targeting data, receive intelligence updates, and potentially coordinate with unmanned systems and allied aircraft in real time. This living asset approach Rapid iteration, continuous feedback, and modular expansion positions the B-21 not just as a single platform, but as a foundation for how future air campaigns will be envisioned and fought. Its systems and doctrine are being developed to anticipate the evolving character of air warfare, the rise of distributed operations, the importance of integrated deterrence, and the adaptive responses demanded by fast-maturing counter-stealth technologies. The critical mass, balancing numbers with survivability. Strategic deterrence is shaped by both technology and numbers. As the first two B-21s complete flight testing, questions remain about whether a capped fleet, estimated at up to 100, can provide enough presence and resilience in both peacetime and combat. Advocates argue that extreme survivability and improved sortie rates offset lower numbers, but the debate is ongoing. In peacetime, a stealth bomber fleet signals US resolve and provides pressure in crisis scenarios. In conflict, however, losses, even a handful, could erode effective deterrence. To mitigate this, the B-21 survivability aims to ensure each aircraft can accomplish more missions, minimize downtime, and avoid detection or destruction, increasing the force's practical impact. 
A small but stealthy, highly dispersed bomber fleet compels adversaries to expand and diversify their own coverage, making efficient defense more difficult. The B-21's lower maintenance requirements and digital support tools make it feasible to split forces across multiple unpredictable locations, a direct counter to strategies attempting to overwhelm US bombers on the ground. Nevertheless, a force of 100 remains susceptible to attrition in large-scale conflict. Operational concepts for the B-21 thus include maximizing each sortie's impact, sustaining high availability, and integrating with allied assets to complicate adversarial targeting and responses. Robust logistics, distributed basing, and meticulous protection round out the strategy. While technology cannot eliminate all risk, the B-21's architecture, stealth, agility, digital maintainability, and flexible operation offers a credible approach to maintaining both deterrence and warfighting edge. Legacy and competition, the shadow cast ahead. The rise of the B-21 does not occur in isolation. The US Air Force continues to invest in existing bombers, especially the B-2 Spirit, which remains in service thanks to ongoing upgrades to its stealth features and mission availability. This layered approach ensures the US can sustain credible capabilities even as the radar enters frontline use. Globally, the B-21's progress forces reassessment across rival militaries. Its demonstration flights and rapid development pace set a high bar for any competitor seeking parity in long-range, survivable strike. While other nations are pursuing their own advanced bombers, the US maintains a lead not only in raw technology, but in the operational doctrines and support systems needed to field such capabilities at scale. No platform can operate in a vacuum, but the consequences of the B-21's advances are nonetheless significant. Adversaries face greater uncertainty. Bombers that are harder to detect can strike from unexpected directions and defy categorization in terms of mission role. Correspondingly, rival investments are being directed toward new sensing, interception, and cyber abilities, but each initiative takes place in the shadow of an aircraft designed to evade and adapt. The B-21's effect, then, is not just technical, but psychological. By reducing adversary confidence in their defensive networks and raising questions about American capabilities, the radar influences operational planning and resource allocation abroad. The absence of certainty ties up enemy assets and creates dilemmas where none existed before. A reckoning with the future. The B-21 radar marks a decisive point in the evolution of strategic bombing. Its hidden feature, a multi-role, modular, and highly adaptable internal architecture, makes it not just more survivable, but fundamentally more flexible and strategically useful. Every design decision, from materials selection to mission system layout, has been made with enduring operational flexibility, stealth, and resilience in mind. The B-21's journey from development to frontline deployment suggests a new kind of air power, one defined less by simple destructive capacity than by adaptability, presence, and unremitting unpredictability. For adversaries, the radar adds a layer of uncertainty and unpredictability into every assessment. For strategists, it embodies a commitment to readiness and technological leadership as test flights transition into regular operations and as the Air Force refines tactics, the B-21 is poised to become a backbone of America's strategic deterrent and an engine of operational innovation. The full implications will unfold over the years, but one truth is already evident. The architecture of adaptability, embedded in the B-21 from the ground up, represents not just a leap in bomber design, but in how air warfare itself will be conceived and fought in decades to come. This is the era of the B-21, where flexibility, stealth, and resilience converge to offer an enduring edge in both deterrence and, if necessary, combat. In reshaping the very assumptions of what bombers are and can do, the B-21 stands as a harbinger of how the next generation of air conflict will be defined.